Hello friends, welcome to the Corridor Draw Effect Series. In this video, I'll be showing you how I created this sliced effect in Corridor Draw. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please kindly hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you miss any of the videos I'll be dropping after this time. Without having to waste much time, let's get started. So this is the size that I use, 6.4 by so you can just make these changes and let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is double click and um, of course just give this a color. So I just go straight and um, go over to my text tool. So I'm just going to type and um, give it a white color. I'm going to change the font here to this. So the font that I use is in the description of this video, so you can do well. Click on the download link to download the font that I used. All right. So having done that, go to the shape tool and um, close down the, sh the um, spaces in between like this. And um, when I'm done with that, I would um, make adjustment to this background. So I'll go and select the interactive field tool. When you do that, make sure you're selecting the background. Select this one here and um, click on this point here and come here and select this color like that easy peasy you can use this also but then i choose to use this so click on this point and um, select this one like this you can move this outside like this so when you do that go back and select the slice tool and um, come here click on the knife tool so click and drag like this of course nothing is going on you don't see anything go back to your selection to click out then click on this you can see this is let me bring this out you can see now it has been sliced All right so you can slightly move it with your arrow key to this part here All right great make sure it is above the first one so um you can see now it's already on top that's why i'm not seeing that um, let me show you again click on um, order you can see now front of layer is not active right so you know it's on top of this right so when you get this the next thing you want to do is um, let's go ahead and apply the drop shadow right so click on this and select shadow like this hold down shift while holding down shift and um, drag this down like this now the re reason why you're holding shift is to make sure that this is straight right so when you do this the next thing you should do is come over to this point here and bump it all up to 100 like this and change this and put it at outside you might have to reduce this now i'm going to leave mine at 80 something and bump this up like this I think this is a, just couple my settings for this one, right? So when you're done with that, you can see I can now move this back with my arrow key or my keyboard. So having done that, I'll just go ahead and make some few adjustments to it. Like you can see, move this upward and work on this. So selecting this one, I'll go to my interactive view. I'm going to drag from bottom to top. But this one on top, I'm just going to change the color and use something darker. Right? This is too dark. I don't want that. So move here. I don't want it to have a shade of red either. So I'll just come here and select this color here like this. And I'm going to bring this down like this. Great. I think this is fine and nice. Easy peasy, right? Good. okay so i think this is good to go click out when you're done and i'm just going to bring this down you can also use your arrow key to bring it down so just bring it down like this and put it in place All right okay so next i want to do selecting this one which is the one that has the shadow i'll go over to my interactive field which is the gradient tool like you know it's called in other softwares drag and hold while holding shift click on this part and um okay click on this part here this one here and select this color here or you just need to just click on that point and just go and pick the color you want to use 
so i'm moving this up like this so the effect is not too much all right so i'll just use my text tool to type a couple of things here okay so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go over to my ellipse draw an ellipse like this give it this color here of course remove the outline like this and i'm just going to go over to click here like this and click here and um, increase this slightly like this move this upward and um, of course I'm going to right click and click on power clip inside select and as you can see it has gone inside move this down a bit Ctrl C and Ctrl V move this here Ctrl C and Ctrl V okay let me just go back Ctrl C and Ctrl V for this one again then move this one here click on it and rotate it like this and click finish like this there you go guys this is how i let me bump this up a bit to add more shadow to it to make it more realistic and boom there you go so guys this is how i was able to create this sliced effect inside of coral draw right it just these few steps all right guys kindly remember to subscribe and um, I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.